In this video, I'm gonna show you three simple stretches to help you overcome the pain and frustration of plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is an injury that quite a number of you guys have messaged me about, asking for more information. The typical heel pain that comes with this often stubborn injury is often quite debilitating and can hang around for a long time if not managed properly. Thankfully, there are a number of simple techniques that you can use to treat your plantar fasciitis at home, or more specifically, deal with some of the common contributing factors such as tightness in those calf muscles. Let's start with understanding the anatomy around the bottom of the foot and the ankle region. The plantar fascia runs from the heel bone, the calcaneus, along the bottom of the foot and across the metatarsal head, the balls of the foot. As we walk and run, the action of us loading these toes adds tension to the plantar fascia, which helps create a more rigid and solid base to push off through. That's a good thing, it's how the foot's supposed to function. Coming back to the heel bone, the calcaneus, another structure which attaches to this bone is the Achilles tendon, which transfers force from the calf muscles. If the calf muscles are chronically tight, the Achilles is going to be subtly pulling the calcaneus in a direction which places constant strain on the plantar fascia, which it won't like. So, to effectively manage your plantar fasciitis symptoms, it's important that we deal with any tightness in the calf complex and ensure that the big toe in particular is able to dorsiflex properly. Here are some stretches for you to try. Standing facing a wall with one foot forward, one foot back, so that the rear foot is so far back it feels like you're about to lift the heel. Place your hands on the wall and push your heel down into the ground. You should feel a stretch in those calf muscles. Be sure to watch the position of your rear foot, keeping it straight rather than allowing it to turn outwards as you stretch. And hold this stretch for three to five sets of 20 to 40 seconds on each leg. Try this twice daily. To stretch the soleus muscle lower in the calf region, you need to repeat the same setup, keeping both knees bent and both feet flat on the floor this time. Drive the rear knee forwards as you drop your weight down into that back foot. You should feel this stretch lower in your calf region than with the previous exercise. Hold this stretch for three to five sets of 20 to 40 seconds, again twice daily. It's important that we also work on the mobility of the big toe in particular, as walking and running gait both require you to be able to roll through the big toe. A lack of range of motion here can result in the plantar fascia becoming dysfunctional through not being loaded properly over time. There are a couple of reasons why the big toe can lack range of motion. It could be a consistent structural problem or a functional issue which would be more present in weight bearing. So if you do struggle with big toe motion and are suffering with plantar fasciitis, I'd suggest a visit to the podiatrist to further assess the issue. A great stretch to promote big toe motion uses the wall once again. Place your big toe up against the wall and try to keep the rest of your foot as much as you can flat on the floor. From there, drive your knee towards the wall and hold this stretch for three to five sets of 20 to 40 seconds. You should feel this through the underside of the foot and into your lower calf region. It should be a strong stretch, but not painful. Feel free to try this twice daily. An area less commonly discussed when it comes to plantar fasciitis stretching is the front of the shin. The tibialis anterior muscle that sits at the front and outside of the shin crosses the ankle and is an important antagonist muscle to the calf complex, meaning that it performs the opposite function, dorsiflexion rather than plantar flexion. It's a pattern I've noticed in runners who suffer with plantar fasciitis that they often test as being quite tight through tibialis anterior and weak through soleus. This anterior tightness is well worth working on. So to stretch tibialis anterior, begin kneeling up and place the tops of your feet flat on the floor. Gradually sit back onto your knees and if you're tight through tibialis anterior, you'll feel the stretch through the front of your shins as you sit back. Hold this again for three to five sets of 20 to 40 seconds, twice daily. As with almost every injury, stretching isn't the be all and end all. Strengthening is really important too. Exercises to strengthen your calf muscles in particular, like this balance reach exercise for the soleus muscle, are an important part of the rehab process. Self-massage techniques are usually really effective too. In fact, I'll leave a link below to our calf foam rolling tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe so that you don't miss future updates. I have a question for you. I want to know your experience in dealing with plantar fasciitis. Jump into the comments below and let me know what you've tried, what's worked for you and what hasn't.